Chapter 9 Relation between points, lines, and planes. Here is one question which says determine the coordinates of the point where z axis intersects the plane with the equation r equals to 416 plus s 11 minus 1 3 plus t minus 7 2 minus 2 where s and t belongs to set of real numbers. <clears throat> Now, so we are trying to understand points and lines and planes with this example. Now, determine the coordinates of point with z-axis. Z-axis is what? So can you write down the equation of z-axis or a point on z-axis? Intersects a plane with this equation. Now, z-axis means a point where x and y values will be zero, right? So a point on the axis axis will be like uh, 0 0 and let's say z correct that is a point on z axis so we need to find that point of intersection with this given plane so what we can do is we can write this in parametric form equate zeros for x and y and then find s and t and then find z correct so we'll do that so if zero let's first write them in parametric form so we have x point in general on a plane will be given as 4 plus 11 s minus 70 and the y point will be given as 1 plus i should write minus let me write minus in brackets now and plus 2 t and z is equal to 6 and here we have 3s I was being careful 3s and minus 2t minus 2t correct so that's the point in general on our plane now if we want x to be 0 and y to be 0 then we can solve for them here let's let's look into these two equations now okay and we'll put x as 0 and y as 0 try to figure out what s and t could be right so we'll write 0 equals to 4 plus 11 s minus 7 t and here 0 equals to 1 minus s plus 2 t right now from these two equations we can eliminate or substitute so here substitution seems to be a better option s could be written as we'll take s here 1 plus 2t right so we'll substitute this value of s in here in this equation and then move on so we say 0 equals 2 so we go 0 equals to 4 plus 11 times 1 plus 2t minus 7t right so then if we do that then we see get this right now we'll try to solve this so we get here 4 plus 11 times 1 is 11 plus 22t minus 7t correct so 22 minus 7 and we'll bring these two terms here 4 plus 11 so 4 plus 11 is 15 and which comes here becomes minus 15 and 22 minus 7 is 15 right so it is plus 15t and therefore we get t equals 2 which implies t equals to minus 1 right that means t equals to minus 1 so we got our t now right so if I put t as minus 1 if I put t as minus 1 here so we do get oh this becomes not 0 there's something wrong in the calculation definitely if I put t as minus 1 here you get plus 7 and okay I have to find s also right yes so t is okay minus 1 what is s so s is equal to 1 plus 2 times minus 1 so s is equals to 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 so s is also equals to minus 1 correct so we have here so what we did is we plugged in this t in this equation right so we have both s equals to minus 1 and t equals to minus 1 correct so that is our solution let's check this out now right s minus 1 if s is minus 1 this is minus 11 
and if t is minus 1 this is 7 plus 4 11 that makes it 0 perfect okay and here if I plug it in here minus 1 will make it plus 1 which is 2 and this t minus 1 make it minus 2 perfect and now we can get z as equal to we'll sub in these values here 6 minus 1 for s make it minus 3 and minus 1 for t we make it plus 2 which will give us point 6 minus 3 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 therefore the point of intersection for us is 0 0 and 5 do you get that so that is how we'll find point of intersection for an axis with the given plane okay thank you